Hello everyone, this is Tim from TribeFan879, and this is the fifth start of the 1967 Mike McCormick Cy Young Stratomatic Advanced Start Replay. Today, the Giants will be hosting the Chicago Cubs, and today's pitching match matchup facing Mike McCormick is Kurt Simmons. And we'll go ahead and get started. Leading off and playing shortstop for the Cubs is Paul Popovich. And a 4-8 against a righty ground ball to first. Jack Hyatt is there, puts a, takes to the base himself, one down. And here is Glenn Becker. And a 1-3 is a pop-up. Foul territory, Jim Hart is there, puts it away, two down. Here is Billy Williams, the left fielder. And a 5-9 against a lefty. That's a fly ball to right field, but there is Ollie Brown with enough room, pulls it in, and makes the catch. That's a 1-8 home run chance, but that was a 14, and that will retire the side. We go to the bottom half of the first. The Cubs nothing and the Giants coming to bat. And leading off for the Giants is Jesus Alou. Playing left field. And here's the pitch from Simmons, the left-handed pitcher facing the right-handed batter. And a 3-7 against the lefty ground ball to short. Popovich is there to get a loo. And here is Holly Brown. 6-7 against the righty. That's a ground ball down the third baseline, third baseline, and into second with a double is Ollie Brown. And here is Kurt Simmons to face Willie Mays, the center fielder. And a 4-11 swing and a miss, strike three. And here is Jim Hart with two outs on the runner on second. And a 4-5 is a fly ball to right. There is Ted Savage. I believe that's his name. Yep. And he puts it away. And that will retire the side. One complete in San Francisco. No score. And here is Ernie Banks playing first base. This would be... Well, 71 would be his last season, so... He's a grizzled veteran at this point. Oops, we will re-roll. That landed on the pen. And a 6-6 six, six against the righty is a pop-up. And Lanier is there. Puts it away. One down. That is Hal Lanier. And here is Randy Hundley. And a 3-8. And that's a four. That's a fly ball to left field. A little racing back. He leaps, and it's just over his outstretched arm. Home run, Randy Hundley. And the Cubs get out to a one nothing lead. And here is Ron Santo. And a 2-6 against the lefty is a base on balls, so. And they will not hold Santo on. Even though Dietz is a plus one. Excuse me. Here's Ted Savage. 3-7. And that's another walk, so. Maybe uh, Dietz will need to come out and talk to McCormick. It's a little rattled after that home run ball. And here's Adolfo Phillips, first and second. Uh, they will hold all runners. And a 5-9 against a righty. And that's a long fly ball, deep left field. Racing back and out of here. Three run home run for Adolfo Phillips. He is normal against everybody. And that's a one to seven, and that's a six. So 
the D20 not being kind to Mike McCormick and it is now 4 nothing Cubs. And that'll bring up the pitcher. Simmons using pitcher hitting card number two. A left-handed hitter. And that is a foul ball. And we'll do it again. And a 6-7 lefty ground ball second base. That is for... Beckert, 2 and a 15, and he'll take care of that for the second out of the inning. And we go back to the top of the order, and Popovich grounded out his first time up. And 4-9, that is not a 1, so it's a line drive caught by Hart, and that will retire the side, but not until the Cubs get 4. And after an inning and a half, it's the Cubs 4, and the Giants, nothing. And I'll take a timeout and see who actually won this game in real life. All right, so in the real game, the Giants actually won this game 4-2. to two, So the Cubs have already exceeded their run total for this game in real life. All right, that'll bring up Jack Hyatt to face Kurt Simmons. Hyatt, the first baseman today. And a 1-5... Against the lefty, ball four, so leadoff runner aboard. They will not hold him on. And here is Dick Dietz. One six against the lefty, swing and a miss, strike three. And here is Hal Lanier. He'd also like to get into that one column. So he gets the two column ground ball to short. Popovich to Beckert to Banks, inning ending double play. And after two complete, it is 4 nothing Chicago. And we're going to take a timeout here, real quick. All right. And we start the top half of the third. The Cubs will have Beckert, Williams, and Banks up. And here's the pitch to Becker. 6-7 oh, is the second base X. Fuentes will get in front of it. Makes the play one down. Here is Billy Williams. And a 1-8 is a ground ball back to McCormick. Fires the first two down. And here is Ernie Banks. And a 2-6 fly ball to center. Mays is there. And that retires the side. So two and a half in the books in San Francisco. Four nothing Cubs. And that'll bring up Fuentes, McCormick, and Alou here in the third. Five eleven fly ball to left. Williams will be there, one down. And here is McCormick, the number two, number one weak hitting, or sorry, normal hitting left-handed hitter. And three eight swing and a miss, strike three. We'll go back to the top of the order. Here is uh, Jesus Salou. Sorry, let's take a swig of water. Here's Jesus Alou. And a 2-6 against the lefty is a ground ball back to the mound. Simmons retires Alou, and that'll retire the side. Three complete, 4 nothing Cubs. <sighs> Here is Randy Humbley, whose solo home run got the Cubs on the board first. In his last at bat. And a 6-10 against the righty, and that's ball four. So Hundley reaches base for the second time today. 
And here's Ron Santo. And a 1-6 against the lefty. Fly ball, deep left. And all Alou can do is turn around and watch it go. Home run, Ron Santo. 6 nothing Cubs. And it don't look like McCormick's going to be in too much longer. Here's Ted Savage. Two seven against the lefty. That's ball four. And that's the second time Savage has walked today. And they will hold him on. And here's Adolfo Phillips. His three run homer capped a four run first. And a four ten. <laughs> and boy, that's a walk and eight. they're going to bring the infield in expecting a bunt so but Simmons will now be an E bunter yeah they'll try to get the bunt down alright so here's the pitch from McCormick to Simmons he squares around oh boy E and an 11. Ah, he just pops it up. First baseman. Hyatt has it. And everybody goes back. No harm. No foul. All right. Here's Paul Popovich. Six, nine. And that's a, the fly ball to right. Uh, now we're going to play where... So the runner can go to third. Uh, running rating plus two would be 17. Uh, Hyatt and Wright, or not Hyatt, right. Uh, Brown and Wright's a minus four. So one to 13, he gets the third. 14 to 19, he stays. And 20, he's out. And it's a 14 and he holds. So good throw by Ollie Brown. Keeps runners at first and second. Two down, and here's Glenn Beckert. And a 6-3 is a fly, fly ball to left. Alou, a uh, he is a two-rated, two a five, and he tracks it down. Nice running catch by Jesus Alou. And that will retire the side here in the fourth. Oops, not a zero. They get two on the two-run homer by Santo, and now leads 6 nothing. We'll try to get him through the third time through the order and see how they can go from there. All right. So here's Ollie Brown. And 4-6 against the righty, and that falls in for a hit. So Ollie Brown 2-for-2 two two with a single and a double. And here is Willie Mays. Oh, they will not hold on Ollie Brown. And a 6-5 is a fly ball to center. Phillips is there. One down. I'll bring up Jim Hart. And a 6-7. And that's a ground ball down the third baseline. Uh, let's see. They were not holding on Brown, so that'd be a 15. The left fielder is Williams with a plus one arm. So he'd be 1-16 to 16 to try to score. They're going to send him. The throw to the plate is in time. That's an 18. And we're going to call that 7-6-2 to six to two on the out there. Unbelievable. <sighs> All right, here's Hyatt. Runner on second, two outs. And 6-5, fly ball to center, and that will retire the side. So the Giants run themselves out of an inning. And after four complete, it is 6-0. And this could be the last inning for McCormick. Uh, he is due up fourth in the inning. 
in the fifth. So here's Billy Williams. Four, eight, lefty, ground ball to second. Fuentes over to Hyatt, one down. Here's Ernie Banks. One, nine, and that's a line drive down the third baseline. And that'll rattle around, and Banks is into second with a double. And here is Randy Hunley. A home run and a walk in two appearances. Two, seven. And they weren't holding on Banks, so that's a ground ball to... Actually, no, it wouldn't matter. It's on second. Ground ball to short. And over to first. That's two down, and Banks stays at second. Here's Ron Santo. Walk and a home run as well in two appearances. And a one, two... Against the lefty, that's a fly ball, but Alou will have room to retire the side. He needed a 1-5, to five and he got a 17. So that'll be it here for McCormick in the fifth. We go to the bottom half, still 6 nothing Cubs. And here is Simmons to face Dietz, Lanier, and Fuentes. And we'll definitely get a pinch hitter for... McCormick, if he is due, 3-4, and that's a fly ball to left. Plenty of room for Billy Williams, one down. It was a 1-4 to four homer, and that was a 10. Here is Hellenier, 1-7, base hit center field. All right, so here is Tito Fuentes. Uh, Norm Seaburn is grabbing a bat and will... Hit on deck, uh, we will go with uh, Lindy McDaniel and Ron Herbell come loosening in the pen. 5-9. Righty, that's a fly ball to left. Two down, and here is Norm Seaburn to hit for McCormick. He gives up six runs over five innings. Okay. And here is... Let me pull up Seaburn's card. I know I have it on saved my email. And actually, this is his preferable side, it is on the left hand side. So here's Seaburn. 5 3. Oh, against a left handed batter. That's a base hit to right field. And stopping at second will be Lanier. Although he could have gone. Let's see, that's to right field. No, we're not going to run on. Um, Let's see, right field. Savage is a zero arm, but even at a 1 to 15, we'll hold up the stop sign. And I'll go back to the top of the order. Here's Jesus Alou. And a 2 7. Popped up. Infield. Popovich under it. Makes the catch, and that will retire the side. We go to the sixth inning. And we will go with Lindy McDaniel to replace Mike McCormick. So right now it's not looking so good for McCormick to get the win, but we will see. And put McDaniel in the... All right, so we will face the bottom third of the order, Savage, Phillips, and Simmons. Now, Simmons will hit his point of weakness in the next inning, but they'll let him stay out there. 
See, it's not giving up a run. And here is the pitch to Savage. Sorry if my drinking water offends anybody for watching the video. And a 2-3 against a righty. A fly ball to left. And Alou is there. One down. And here is Adolfo Phillips. And a 6-3 against a righty. Base hit to left field. And that'll bring up, uh, they'll bring the, the infield expecting a bunt. And Simmons will attempt to lay down a bunt. He's not a very good bunter, but we'll see what happens. And here's the pitch to Simmons. E and a six. All right, lays it down. He gets it down the third baseline. And his only play is the first. We'll call that five to four. And going to second is Phillips. So he gets some nice hands in the dugout. And here is Popovich. He is 0 for 3 on the day. I'd like to get a hit here to drive in a run potentially. And a 4 3 is a right field X. Brown's a 2, and that's an 18, and he'll run that down. To retire the side. Going to the bottom of the sixth, the Cubs lead 6 0. As here is Simmons going to his point of weakness inning. And for those of you maybe not familiar with Stratomatic, the starter six means in the sixth inning, if he gives up three hits and or unatten unintentional walks or combination thereof, he is considered tired and his dots turn into single two stars which he only has two of them on his card. Interesting. All right, here is Ollie Brown. He is two for two with a single and a double. And that's a ground ball to short. Popovich retires Ollie Brown. One down. Here is Willie Mays. And a 5-5, five, five. and that's a fly ball, deep center field. Going back is Phillips, and it's out of here. 1-15 to is a home run, and that's a 14. So Willie Mays gets the Giants on the board, and it is a 6-1 to one game. And that'll bring us to Jim Hart. Or three to the right fielder. That is Savage. Pretty sure that's a good play for... Yeah, it is. Now it's 17, and that will retire the side. Or not retire the side. That, that'll bring up the second out. Here's Hyatt. Sorry, my bad. I got ahead of myself. Two, four against the lefty. Fly ball to center, and now that will retire the side. But the Giants get on the board... On the Mays homer, but still trails six to one. And McDaniel will come out for a second inning. He will face Beckert, Williams, and Banks. And here is Beckert, 0 for 3 on the day with uh, two flyouts and a ground out and a 1 4 against a righty. And he pops it up to the shortstop. And Lanier is there, one down. Here's Billy Williams. He's 0 for 3 on the day. So top three of the order have gone 0 for 11 on the day so far. 3-9 and make it 0 for 12. As that's a fly ball to left. Alou is there, two down. And here is Ernie Banks, one for three with a double. And a 6-3, and that's a base hit to left field. So Banks is 2 for 4 on the day. And here's Randy Hunley. A home run walk in a ground out in two official trips. And here's the pitch to Hunley. 5-6, and that's a ground ball to third. He'll just throw to first, and that will retire the side. Stretch time in San Francisco. Senior, take me out to the ball games. 
at the old ball game. All right, uh, Simmons will... He only has the one point against him for the point of weakness, and he has only gone through the order... This will be the third time. They'll let him try to get through the seventh. Here's Dick Dietz. Four, eight, and that's an 18. So that's ripped into the gap, but cutting it off nicely is Phillips to hold Dietz to a double. And the Cubs will get bullpen action. They will have uh, Cal Kuntz and Pete Michelson loosening the pen. All right, they're not holding Dietz on. Here's Halonier. Two, three against the lefty. Ground ball to first. He flips to Simmons covering. Going to third is Dietz. Because that's a ground ball C. And one down here is Tito Fuentes. And the Giants will get another pinch hitter. Uh... Bob Schroeder and Ken Henderson are loosening, or actually they're deciding which one they're going to go with. Bob Schroeder on deck. And here is Cheeto Fuentes. 3 9. All right, it's a fly ball to left, but it's not automatic that he's going to score. All right, Dietz is an 8. He gets a plus 2. That takes him to a 10. And to left field, Billy Williams. Oh boy, that take him to one to eleven. Sure. Oops, and he's gonna tag. Here's the throw from Williams, and that's a six, and he is safe. So throw is a little bit up the line. And it's an RBI for Fuentes. And that'll bring up Schroeder to hit for uh, McDaniel. So Ron Herbell is going to come into the game and pitch the eighth. So All right, six to two, two outs, nobody on. And here is Schroeder pinch hitting for... Lindy McDaniel. And a 3-4 against the lefty is a ground ball to third. Santo fires the first, and that will retire the side. We go to the eighth. Cubs still lead 6-2. to two. And we will get Ron Herbell into the lineup. And Herbell will face Santo, Savage, and Phillips. Uh, Santo is one for two with a homer and a flyout to go along with a walk. And we're still deciding whether they... They'll keep uh, Simmons in. He's not giving up any... He's giving up the... Well, no, they'll take him out. If he comes up. Okay, so here is... That's two, not three. So here is Santo against Herbell. Righty, righty matchup. Three, three. Ground ball to short. Linear over to first. One down. Here is Ted Savage. And 212. Ground ball to short. Another play for Linear. Two down. Here's Adolfo Phillips. Let's see if Lanier can get the hat trick here. And that's a 6-7. Ground ball to second, but that's an easy play for Fuentes. And that will retire the side. On a 19 on a ground ball X, that's, that's an out in advanced. All right, so going to the bottom of the eighth, and Simmons will start his fourth time through the order, and he will be on a sh 
he might be on a short leash as the Cubs still lead 6-2. to two. Um, Here is Jesus Alou. He is 0 for 3 on the day. And a 6-8. That's a base hit for Alou. And we may do a double switch here, potentially. Um, let's see here. Four, four, three. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna pull a double switch here. Actually, we can't, let, me, let me see if Savage can play center field. One second. Actually, one sort. Yes, he can. So Ted Savage is going to move from right field to center field. And then uh, Lee Thomas will come in and play right field. He is a 4-E-0 four zero arm with an E-11. And then the pitcher's spot will be where Phillips hits. And they will bring in Michelson. So. And. So, good outing for uh, Simmons. He gets into the seventh. Now here's Michelson. We'll adjust. So Phillips is now out as well. Picture spot after Savage. Okay. So now we got that all out of the way. Here is um, Ollie Brown to face Michelson. Righty righty matchup. Five five, and that's a fly ball to left. And stays in the ballpark. Williams is there. One down. Here is Willie Mays. They're not holding a Lou on. Mays homered his last time up. And a 1-8. And he finds the field goal in the one column. Popped up. The third. Santo is there. Two down. Here is Jim Hart. 6-7. Seven. That's a one. That's a base hit over the second baseman's head. Going to second is Alou. And the Giants have runners on first and second with two down. And here is Jack Hyatt. Five, two, first base X. That's Banks. Three, I don't think a nine is in range. It is not. He is an E11. He needs a seven to 11 to make the play. And he does. Great play ranging over to towards second. Throws to first with uh, Michelson covering. And that will retire the side. So we go to the ninth. And let's see. We will need. And now her bell will not be. Okay. So her bell can stay in and pitch the ninth. All right, so here's Herbell to face Lee Thomas. Three nine against a righty ground ball to second. Fuentes over to first, one down, and here is Paul Popovich. Two nine. Against the righty, ground ball to second in the hole. Good play by Fuentes to get it and throws the first in time. And Popovich at 0 for 5 day, and here's another 0 for, for the day. Here's Glenn Beckert trying to avoid the collar, and he will not. That's a nice play by Fuentes as well. And that will retire the side here in the ninth. We go to the bottom half. And the Giants still trail 6-2. to two. Michelson will stay on. Kel Kuntz and Bill Hands are loosening in the pen. And 
here is Dick Dietz. The, no, not. Yeah, Dick Dietz. So we'll have Dietz, Lanier, and Fuentes. And Willie McCovey will grab a bat if needed. And a 4 7 is a ground ball to short. Popovich to first, one down. Here's Hal Lanier. And a 5 8. Batting left handed. That's a fly ball that'll get over the center fielder Savage's head. And in the second with a double is Lanier. And they're not going to hold him on. Here is Tito Fuentes. 4 12. Batting righty. And that's a fly ball. Deep left field. Back is Williams. And goodbye. 1 to 16 is a home run, and that's a 15. And the Giants are not going to go quietly into that, that good night, that dark night. And it is now 6 to 4. <sighs> Do you bring on McCovey now? Yeah. And we will we'll let him pitch to at least another batter if he allows. No, we're not even going to do that. So, let's see. We're going to have Bill Hands come in. We're not even going to try to let it get to him getting the next runner on. So, And McCovey will hit for... And now it is a safe situation for, oops, wait a minute. Oops, sorry, I took the wrong card out. For Bill Hands, Hands did have six saves on the season. And here's the pitch to McCovey. One out, one out, two runs in, 6-4. Cubs still lead. 6-10 is to the shortstop, and Popovich a three and a three, and it's going to get past him. Base hit. And McCovey will... Now they'll let, they won't pinch run for him yet. Here is Jesus Alou tying run at the plate. One, six. And that's a six, and that's ripped to the gap. And that's a double, and going to third is... McCovey. So the tying runs are in scoring position. And here's Ollie Brown. One swing of the bat could end this. Four, ten, and that's outside ball four. That will load the bases. And here's Willie Mays. Oh boy. With a one-run lead, I'd probably bring the infield in, but we're going to play back for a double play. There are a couple ground ball A's here for the right side, and if it's not a ground ball A, at least they'll keep it a one-run game. All right, infield is back. Here's Willie Mays. 5-3, that's the pitcher X. Uh, he is a 2, but since it's not in the top 3... It will go to his error check. He is an E10. A 6-9 or an 11 ends the game. And that's a 10. And let me make sure of this. E10. Oh, sorry. I was looking at another. I was looking at um, an E19, I think. Okay, so let's let's reset. So a two and a four, it's out of range. He is an E10 for a pitcher. Sorry, an E10, a six to 12 is a double play. And Bill Hands to second for one, on to first, inning ending, game ending, double play. And that's your ball game. Wow, well, I guess if you're a Giants fan, the only thing you could hope for is to get the tying run on, onto the plate or in scoring position, and they did that, but they just couldn't deliver as Willie Mays grounds into a double play. 
to end the game. Final score from San Francisco. Giants made it close, but not close enough. 6-4 is your final. McCormick will get the loss. He'll go to 3-2 and two on the season. He went five innings. Wait a minute. No, yeah, he went five innings and gave up six runs as it was just a little too much. And the Giants offense came in a little too little too late. Alrighty, uh, some upcoming news on the channel. I will roll out the um, quick result results so I can give you the standings as of the final game for the Indians and Rays series. And then uh, Tribe Weekend Simulation Baseball will follow. And then there's a two-game series against the Twins coming up. I will put both games on the channel. Just as a fun little bonus. All right. Uh, please make sure you hit the like button. Uh, if you have not already subscribed, please hit the subscribe button and then hit the bell icon. You'll be notified of any new videos. And whatever games you are playing, please enjoy them to your fullest. Have a good night, everybody.